Coaching news. Uh, the big coaching news uh, is twofold. Let's start with Kentucky. Pat, what do they do? John yeah, Calipari big- is not going very well. <laughs> the big coaching news is that John Calipari is still the coach. Uh, to the utter dismay of many of their fans, you know, I, I, I kind of think they've been at a breaking point for a while now, and this this is just more more breaking. But again, what are they going to do about it? The general reaction seems to be <clears throat> Kentucky doesn't have a sugar daddy who's going to come up with thirty three million dollars, and the school isn't going to come up with thirty three million dollars, and John Calipari is still going to coach because he's not walking away without $33 million. So a postseason that ended with a fir- a knockout in the first game of the SEC tournament and a knockout in the first se- game of the NCAA tournament that follows going one and two last year, lost the first SEC game, lost in the second round of the NCAAs. 2022, <clears throat> won one game in the SEC tournament, but knocked out by St. Peter's. In the first round, 2021, they didn't go anywhere. They lost in the first round, and then they were 9-16. and 16. Since the pandemic, John Calipari's record is terrible by Kentucky standards. Absolutely terrible. He has won two postseason games, one in the SEC tournament, one in the NCAAs. They've lost to a 14 seed. They've lost to a 15 seed. And guess what? They're probably still going to have the most players drafted by the NBA in June. And that's where the disconnect is just so glaring and so galling for the fans is like, we've got the best talent. Why do we stink in every March? And, you know, that the the easy analogy is Texas A&M and Jimbo Fisher, which did swallow the pill and pay pay the money. But Calipari's done better than Jimbo ever did at A&M. But it's also Kentucky basketball, which has always done better than Texas A&M football. Kentucky basketball, this, this should not happen. This is Tubby Smith was not fired, but he was pushed out, like find something else to do after the diminishing returns from his national title in 1998 to 2007. This is the same thing from 2015 when Kentucky was 38-0 and lost in the Final Four till now. It's diminishing returns. Nobody's happy. Everybody's tired of Cal's act, but they don't know what to do about it. Well, it it reminds me of... uh... Um, well, at least part of it reminds me of Nick Saban, Alabama football, right? They got the best talent, but they, they usually did something with it, right? They usually, they, yeah. they didn't really have a drop off. I mean, Nick Saban's teams up to the very end really didn't have a drop off and they were consistently every year, the most talented roster in football. And, and they, uh, they may do with that, with that talent. Uh, and I think that's the biggest issue right now with Kentucky is, you have, uh, as Pat said, you've you've got the best talent, and you're you're not you're not making do with it. Um, it's it's crazy how many losses that Kentucky's had in the last four years. I, I think it's forty six, which doesn't yeah. even that that seems insane. But forty six over the uh, over the last four years um, is pretty. The, der- pretty the wild. derisive nickname the Kentucky fans gave Tubby Smith was ten loss Tubby. Guess what? Many mm-hmm. losses Cal's had in the last four years. He's had yeah, forty, yeah, twenty, forty six. Yeah. I think he's, yeah. He's, yeah, yeah. He's averaging eleven 12 a, a year or so, eleven a year. year. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So that's the problem. You, when you Cal. bring in talent, <laughs> got to win with it. Yeah, and, and I mean, it's one thing to lose to like Trevor Lawrence, Clemson, or Joe Burrow, LSU. Uh, yeah. Not um, Jack Golke. Jack Golke. <laughs> um. So, Pat, okay, so this lifetime deal was a terrible idea. Disaster. Okay. Mitch Bonhart, Bonhart, is it is always he, 30 million buyout? Yeah. Does it ever go no, down? It's bigger. Perpetual? <laughs> yeah. It gets bigger. Oh, yes, right? no, it, it will keep going down. It'll oh, keep going okay. down. But I mean, it okay. was up over 50. What, like as he gets older? Yeah. As he yeah. gets older, it, it goes down. Uh huh. Yeah. Lifetime believe... appointees are not a good idea. Supreme no. Court on down. Like, let's, let's, uh, <laughs> like, you need a retirement age here. I don't, yeah. Um, uh, yeah, I mean, Cal can just sit there and keep coaching until they fire. Like, what? what I, I, I'm sure yeah. he is not. He's not having a great time. He's not, you know, it's miserable. Nobody wants to be a lo- losing games and have people ripping on you. Um, and, you know, there's like some guys like 
selling shots to try to raise money uh, <laughs> for the, the buyout. I mean, uh, they drink a lot down there. I mean, <laughs> we're not, but yeah. seems like a seems like a long way to go. Seems <laughs> sure if they, gonna make if they could skim off enough of the Kentucky Derby handle at Churchill Downs and just yeah, I don't, use that to get him out, that might be the way to do it. Thirty-three million, but it's hard to just sit there and be like, "Well, I'm not having a lot of fun. I'm going to walk away from thirty-three million." Um, you know, doesn't seem like a thing. Pat, um, I mean, you know that place better than than most. Like um, Mitch Barnhart, the AD is, I think, the chair of the SEC ADs. I mean, he's the longest tenured AD, I think, in the league. He's probably the most respected. Uh, I'm guessing at Kentucky, he in this situation, he's got. A good a good amount of authority to make the decision. I think so. And yeah. again, I like I the these these signs, the indications are that the university is like we're not we're not coming up with thirty three million to, to lifetime to pay a deal is a to, bad idea. It's a terrible idea. Mitch Barnhart should be catching a lot of hell for that. That's I mean, the biggest problem here. What you don't give those contracts? We don't want him to go to Texas. You're to Kentucky. Let him go to Texas if he wants to go to Texas. Or That's he wants right. To go yeah, where you can get UCLA, you'll get another guy. Yeah, exactly. All your guys win. Think who you are. Don't panic because, oh, my gosh, my coach who's good may leave. That's terrible. Terrible. Yeah. I mean, it's not not lifetime deals. Don't don't do them. But they, they did them. 